Hi, I'm Dana. Welcome to Rainy Day Guitar. Okay, so today I'm doing Rainy Day Ukulele. Woohoo! <laughs> All right, so I'm a guitar player and I don't even know how to play the ukulele, but I had this mother, I'm teaching her older daughter, and she had a little eight year old son, and she said, Can you please teach him ukulele? Because he's too little for a guitar. He's little, he can't, his arms can't fit around. I was like, You could do a kid sized guitar. And or small, you know, and she said, no, he really wants to learn ukulele, can't you teach him? And I'm like, I don't play ukulele. And she said, oh, you can figure it out, can't you? And I was like, actually, I, I can. I can, I've figured out quite a few songs, not quite a few, a few. Anyway, she said, oh, good. So anyway, I'm teaching this cute little boy ukulele, and I need to figure out a few songs here and there. So as I figure them out, I'm going to put them up for you, just for fun, for those of you who want to play ukulele. I've got the picture of the chords, and it throws me because... I see a C on here and I want to go like that, but a C is down here. A C is a G, a G is a D or something like that. I can't remember. So yeah, so I'm going to be more plain by ear hoping I don't make a mistake. If I look at the chords, I'm going to hit the wrong chord because I'm going to go to guitar chord. But anyway, I've got the right ukulele chords here for you. Okay, this is I'm Yours by Jason Mraz for the ukulele. <laughs> and um, I'm going to play it through once and then I'm going to fix my chair. Then I'll go back and show you how to do it. Okay, here we go. All right. Oh, actually, let's, let's do this fun beginning. Let's see. No, it's too far. No, too far.
All right, fun, fun song. I love that song. On guitar and on ukulele. It's significantly easier on ukulele, but it's still not too bad on the guitar. Give it a shot. But I do a lot more fun little things there. Okay, all right. This is kind of a really simplified version for those of you who just want to play it. You can go to rainydayguitar.com. You can print up the words with the chords, okay? And I've even, like I said, got pictures of the chords for those of you who aren't ukulele players but want to have a ukulele somewhere and you just want to dust it off and play it, okay? Easy song to start with, so fun. All right, so what we're gonna do, I should have had my pick, but I forgot. Well, okay, I'm just gonna show you the strum and then I'll go back and show you that fun little finger, little sliding thing I was doing. Okay, so basic strum, so okay. This is a C, which to me looks like a G, but it's just the first string, third fret. There's your C, let's go over the four, five chords, there's actually five. And then a G is a D on the guitar, okay? It's the first string, third string on the second fret, and the Second string on the third fret. Did I say that right? First and third string, second fret, second string, third fret. Okay, that's a G on the ukulele. An A minor, which is an E minor on the guitar. Okay, it's just the top string, that fourth string up there on the second fret. And then an F, which is a C on the guitar, is you just put your pointer on the second string. You keep that tall man up there, but you just add your pointer on the second string, first fret. Okay, and then there's this D7, which is really an A7. D7 is fourth and second string, second fret. Those are your five chords. Again, they're right there. I got pictures of them, okay? Okay, so now the strum that I'm doing is just down, no, it's not it. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. So down, down, up three times, and then the fourth time, just to break it up, go down, up, down, up. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay? Down, down, oh, well, we can't do that whole. No, I did that wrong. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Got it? That is 90% of the song right there. How easy is that? Okay, Okay. so that's your intro, and then you're going to start singing, okay? I'm going to show you this fun little slide if you want to. What you're going to do is put your ring on the first string, third fret, and you're going to slide up from the third fret to the fifth fret, and then come back and just start strumming. Two, three, four. Now, if you're going to slide, you got to stop on that last down four, that four down beat. You can't keep coming, can't keep strumming, okay? And then you're going to go... Whoops, you're going to do it again on this, so the C gets a slide before you start and after you start, okay? There's your before, strum, two, three, four, then you're going to go, okay? Then you're going to land a D, or a G, okay, land a G, and do the same thing, one, two, three, four. Now I'm going to pluck my second string, he's on the third fret, I'm going to slide up to the fifth, okay? And then I'm going to go up to my A minor. going to put my uh, F on, okay, I'm going to put my pointer on the second string, first fret, one, two, three, four. So the last two chords in that progression have a full set of strums, you don't chop the ending off to do a little slide, you just slide on the first two, and then you, so, no, that's not true, you could go one, two, three, four, and then if you... But I generally don't do that while I'm singing. I just do that for my introduction. And you can do it for your little in-between thing too. Like between verses you could, okay? So let's go ahead and go through it and see if there's anything we need to. So that's kind of my intro. And then I'm going to start singing. And I'm just going to repeat. I'm not going to be doing the slide while I'm singing. Okay, you can if you want to, but I'm not. If you do, you got to chop the, the F. One, two, three, four. And then you, you do that same little thing that we did to start in the introduction. And then, so you have to chop it. Anytime you slide, you, you, it takes the last two beats of the note before, the chord before. Got it? Okay, from the beginning, and I'm going to stop if I see things. Okay, so this is your C. No, start with your little slide. Slide, two, three, four. Slide up. Whoa, only two frets. And then a G, one, two, three, four. Second string, slide up two frets. Now play your A minor, one, Your, your pointer on the third, second string, first fret, there's your F. One, two, three, four. Okay, now here we 
go back to my C. Well, you dun dun me and I bet, and you bet I felt it. G. I tried to beat you, but you're so hot that I nailed it. A minor, which is top string for second fret. Uh, but I fell right through the cracks. Now I'm at your pointer finger on the second string, trying to get back before the C. Top string, I reckon it's again my turn. And I'm not strumming. While I start singing, my strumming kind of goes ski wampus. Just go with it, okay? So I can't always strum a different rhythm that I'm singing. So if sometimes my singing messes up my strumming. Just that strum works, or you can strum whatever you feel like, okay? I reckon it's again my turn. And here's where you could do this the little strum. Okay, so I just repeated those same chords and I put the slide in the first two, okay? We'll open up and I'm on a C. right there. Put him on the second string, uh, second fret, and lift up your pointer. We haven't had him yet. I'm just going to be one strum and hold it. Love. So it goes, love, 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 love. Oh, don't let go. That's terrible. Love, 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 love. Two, three, four. Okay, now we're going to do this fun new strum. If you want to, you can keep doing the same thing, but it's kind of boring. So it's nice to jazz it up. Now I'm going to go, so I, oh, that was not it. So all I'm doing is I'm going down a hit, and I'm just hitting with the side of my, before I didn't have my pick, so I was going, and I'm just kind of knocking. I actually like that sound a little better. So I cut my fingernail, so it's a little low there, so it's kind of hurting, so I'm babying my pointer finger. Not fun. Down a hit, and I just close my hand or fist, and I just kind of knock. If you're doing it with the pick, then I take the side of my hand, okay? They both work really well. Okay, then a D. No more, no. That's a G. Now an A minor. Or cannot F. Wait. I'm sure there's no bad. Repeat that C. change our strum. We're going to go back to down, down, up, down, down. Yeah, it's the same one. We're going to go back to the original strum. Just down, 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 down. Okay, we're going to do a little walk down, okay? No, I guess I only have time for two, okay? You only have time for down, down, up, down, down, up. I don't have four beats like I usually do. I've only got two. And then I'm going to do something, okay? Right, now I'm going to just slide down to the second fret. I'm doing a walk down. Okay, so I'm going slide to the second fret, do it again. Now I'll go up to your A minor. And then I'm or, yeah, I should finish it. And then a G. So that was kind of a C. I'm calling it a walk down. Technically it's a G major seventh, but it's just the second fret. Okay, so slide down. So it's easier to kind of walk down. 
minor, and then a, what is that called? A G, and then an F, four times, and then your D7. So I'm going to go one, two, three, and I'm just going to strum it and just let it hold. Okay, right there. Okay, so let me kind of do that. Do, 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 do. Okay, ready? C, walk down, A minor, G, and then an F, and then a D7. Okay, ready? Here we go. Do, 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 do. They only get two. They all only get two until you get to the, I think it's the F, okay? Do, do, and then one extra beat. Stop. I've been spinning way too much. Oh no, it goes, no, I forgot. Scooch on over, I forgot it. I left out a whole line. Okay, let me back up and do that again, sorry. I've lost my place, hold on. saying I put soon to ba 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 you can change the words if you want to that's all I can tell what he was saying soon to ba 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 foam okay you're gonna repeat that exact same thing the whole thing just like we did that's what I meant to do I left out that whole line okay back to your seat I've been spending way too much time checking one of these C but I won't have then a G Wait, no more no more a minor it cannot G no oh, oh, oh. <sighs> that is an F hold on hold on I gotta change that okay you are my guinea pigs on the ukulele I haven't taught it to the kid yet just on it oh, sorry okay didn't want to forget to change that it's the wrong chord okay so uh, I'm gonna do that again but I won't hesitate no more. So that was a C, then a G. No, A minor, or it cannot F. Wait, I'm yours. Then you're going to pick it up with a C, okay? And you're going to go back to your regular strum. And someone else goes, I won't. You have two voices on top of you. Someone's going, I won't hesitate. Someone's repeating what we just sang. Okay, but I'm going to go and do the next part, okay? So someone, if you got two voices, you can do that underneath part that just repeats, I won't hesitate. And I'm going to come in on top, and I'm going to kind of go, well, open up your mind and see G, open up your mind, then your A minor, Strum. Yours. The end. So fun. So easy on ukulele. You can do this. Even an eight-year-old, six-year-old can probably do it. Okay, super fun. All right. Go to ReneeTheGuitar.com. If you're a ukulele person, these chords will make more sense to you than they do to me. But anyway, and I've got the pictures. Again, I've said that like four times. Anyway, go to ReneeTheGuitar.com. You can print this stuff. Hope you have fun with that. I had fun with that. Hope you enjoy it. All right. For more fun songs on guitar and ukulele, go to ReneeTheGuitar.com.